they've even brought out a promotional bottle of Statesman Old Forester, which I want so bloody badly, but unfortunately I'll never get my hands on it. So that bottle of Statesman, I'll never get to taste. So about a week ago, I was minding my own business when the door goes and the postman hands me this bad boy. Now I didn't order it myself so I was actually quite surprised and didn't really know what was going on but it turns out some very good friends of mine had actually seen my Kingsman review and being the fine gentlemen that they are they decided that they'd send me a bottle of this as an early birthday present. Honestly I had no clue, I had no idea whatsoever and I wasn't expecting it at all so it was an amazing surprise. I don't think they'll want their names read out on an online video but you know who you are and I know you'll be watching so I just want to say honestly thank you so much it's really truly appreciated. Maybe my day, it absolutely made my day. I wasn't expecting it at all and it came out of nowhere so guys thank you very much. Man if I'd known that was going to happen I should have said I wanted a Lamborghini or something. In fact if I end up doing a Blade Runner 2049 review I might just slip in a wee reference to the Johnny Walker tie-in that they do with that. Now they requested that I make a video on this so of course I'm going to oblige them however they did request that if I'm going to do that I should be dressed in my finest Kingsman like gear. In my entire life I'll never be able to afford a Savile Row suit so you're going to have have to put up with an ill-fitting ASOS suit instead. Well alright then, let's get started. In fact actually before I do that I'm going to lose these because this, I'm getting way too fat for these things. This is not a face for accessories. I'm just getting way too fat for things in general. I mean I think stuff like this isn't helping. I mean look at that double chin action, triple chin action. I'm also going to loosen this because let's face it, I'm no that sophisticated. So I'm going to do my best to have a wee drink of this and let you know what I think, give you my thoughts on it. However, I think it should be noted that I am no whiskey expert. I do like whiskey and I do really like bourbon and it is usually what I drink. But I'm not one that can like pinpoint the exact flavours and stuff. I mean I know what I like and I know what it tastes generally but when you read the label and it's got all this mad wanky shit about like oh it's got hints of I don't know, ball bags, whatever. I can't do that, but I can just drink it and be like, ooh, I like it. So again, I'm no whiskey expert, I'm just Scottish, which I think does qualify me quite a bit, but I think more importantly, also borderline alcoholic. Hey, life's not great these days. Just kidding, I think. Initial thoughts is it's a really, really nice looking bottle. It's Old Forester. I think in general, Old Forester is a really reliable brand and a really good brand. So I think it's gonna be good. I don't think it would put something out just to make money, I hope. So on the front of the bottle it says Old Forester, that's the brand, and distilled exclusively for Statesman, which is the movie tie-in to the Golden Circle. It is a little bit stronger than standard Old Forester, so it should be really, really nice, which I think also ties in with the fact that it's a really deep kind of amber color, which kind of suggests that it's going to be really tasty. It's going to be quite, I don't want to say complex, because that almost makes me sound a bit weird. It's hard to explain, but like when you've had enough, you kind of start to know what you're going to like just by looking at it-ish. And I think I'm actually really going to like this. Um, it's 95 proof, which is kind of the American equivalent of alcohol per volume, which I think 95 would mean it's 47.5% ABV, so it's a bit stronger than your usual Jack Daniels or Jim Beam or whatever it is that you're going to drink and just stick in a Coke. I quite like it neat, straight, so I won't be putting it in a Coke, I won't be ruining somebody's gift that they sent me by putting Coke in it. The branding is kind of heavily uh, American, you got the Statesman symbol on the top, you've got loads of stars and kind of like western graphics all over it. The Statesman logo is quite prominent as well. And it also comes with this little tag, which on the front says Kingsman the Golden Circle and on the inside it reads To the Kingsman of London, England from the Statesman of Louisville, Kentucky We have long been proud of the values we both share United we stand, divided we fall As a token of our appreciation and our long-standing relationship Please accept this rare Old Forest of Statesman Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Each of the warmest parts of our warehouse, Old Forest of Statesman has a rich and dynamic profile and represents the very finest we have to offer We like it best served neat Well, gents, so do I So, if it's made in the warmest parts, that's actually a really good sign because what happens is when the whiskey is and it's cask or it's barrel, whatever you want to call it. The higher it is and the warmer it is, the more the wood kind of expands. I'm not going to get into too much detail because I know you don't care, but the wood kind of expands and contracts and expands and contracts over the years, which means that the mixture kind of like seeps in and out and it gets more flavour and whatnot. That's just a really, really, really condensed version of it. I'm not going to get into detail about what all these things mean. If you want to know more about that kind of stuff, Google uh, Angel Share, that'll tell you more about it. And there'll be people out there who know a hell of a lot more about stuff than I do. I'm not going to bore you with it, that's all I'm going to say. I need to take one last good look at this because I'm going to open it and it's it's got this kind of paper seal uh, and I, I kind of don't want to open it, I kind of just want to keep it perfect and kind of keep it 
but I'm kind of considering buying like a second bottle and just leaving it on the shelf just to look at. However, that being said, I am keeping it in my mind that it is a movie tie-in and I don't know how long ago they started making this stuff. I can't imagine this is going to be too old of a whiskey or a bourbon, however you want to call it. Right, time to open this up. If only I had something to break that seal with. In fact, I have just the thing. <laughs> This is the best bit about opening a new bottle, when you get the pop of that cork. In fact, actually, let's get it right up here, so you can hear it a bit better. <sighs> How good is that? I need to hear that again. Mmm, <sighs> yes, I'm getting notes of, um, alcohol. Do you know what? It actually smells a lot sweeter than I was expecting. It's got a really kind of strong vanilla smell off it but also like still quite a strong kind of like smokiness to it which I think smells good all right then let's go for it <laughs> yep tastes like whiskey no I'm just kidding actually it's very 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 nice it's really smooth like for a bourbon that dark it's a lot smoother than I thought it was gonna be It is, that is really, really nice. All my initial fears of it being a movie tie-in and whatnot are completely blown away because that is not the case at all. It's a really, really nice bourbon. Um, it's actually quite similar to, say, a small batch whiskey, like a Jack Daniel's Single Barrel or something along those lines, like a kind of mid-level small batch whiskey. I mean, that's definitely comparable to something like Jack, ba Jack, Jack Daniel's Single Barrel. It's got a really good balance between like sweetness, oakiness, whiskiness, getting drunkiness, and it's got quite a long finish on it as well. I, again, as I said, I don't really want to get all wanky with how you describe this stuff, but it's really nice. Like, if you like your bourbon, if you like your whiskey, that kind of stuff. Like, seriously, this is actually good. Like, I'm very much enjoying this. I have a funny feeling that half of this bottle will be gone by the end of the night. Certainly when I'm editing this video, I'm going to have this by my side. In fact, I'm going to have some more of it, but I'm going to put it in a skull glass because everything tastes better in a skull glass. I don't know if you can see that, but trust me, get yourself a skull glass, right? It makes a difference, I promise. That'll make you want to slap your mama right there. And that is why I could never be an actor. That and the whole triple chin thing going on. And the fact that I can't act. Oh, anyway, that is, listen, that is actually genuinely good. I need to turn this camera off because I know I'm going to end up drinking this whole thing if I don't stop. Seriously, that is good. It's a lot better than it has a right to be being a movie tie-in. And again, boys, I know you're watching it, so I just want to say thank you very, very, very much for buying me this thing. And I hope this video covers what you wanted from it. You didn't really say what you wanted from video, a video, you just said that you wanted a video. I think if you want to know how it tastes and you want to know more like, sort of in-depth information about it, there probably is reviews out there uh, by Whiskey experts, whiskey channels and whatnot. Certainly if you go on the Old Forester website, there's probably going to be at the very least a flavour profile. But certainly if you want my personal thoughts on it, it's that it's a very, very, very nice, almost like a small batch whiskey. For what it is, it's so good. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. And now you're getting the idea of why I write my reviews because I'm just rambling and probably going in circles and then when I get to the edit, this is going to be like, Lee, what the f are you doing? Stick to the script, boy. It's got that kind of nice, sweetness to it that makes it really easy on the tongue very 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 smooth and it's got a long finish to it so once you've had your first sip it stays there and it just tastes good and you can still feel it like kind of like going around your mouth and whatnot i'm going to enjoy drinking this and in all honesty i am probably going to get myself another bottle like just on my own if you want to try it for yourself you want to get yourself a bottle i'm going to put a link in my description i'm going to go find it and put a link in my description to this bottle and also if i can find it to this skull glass because believe me this is a good combination. In fact, another good combination you could do is if it's somebody's birthday or Christmas coming up, maybe get them the Golden Circle DVD, Blu-ray and a bottle of this. That'd be a pretty good combo I'd be happy with. So, I, I don't know, is that going to cover it? Um, I haven't scripted this, I haven't planned this, I haven't done anything for this other than just opened a bottle and basically rambled. So, hopefully that covers it and by the time this video comes out, it will probably be my birthday. So, have a drink on me. I actually don't have that drink on me. I ain't paying for no drinks. Bye!
thanks so much for watching my review of uh, Statesman Whiskey, is that what I'm calling this? I don't really know. Anyway, thanks again for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, maybe share this video with a friend. If you've got somebody who's interested in whiskey, if you've got somebody who's interested in Statesman, interested in the Golden Circle, give this a share, see what you think. And again, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.